Hi, I'm Mike. And now that we're on the downhill side of calving, it's time to start a new project. Before branding, we have to get our new AeroQuip corrals in place, and that's going to take us a few videos and a number of steps. Today we're going to take a look at our new corrals, the technology behind them, and we're also going to take a look at getting taking out our existing corrals and how they'll be recycled on the ranch. It's all coming up on our Wyoming Life. <laughs> Technology is always moving and changing. Watch your grandpa try to run a new smartphone if you need any proof. And I'm sure he'll tell you about one of these, an old fashioned rotary phone, a dumb phone. Uh, one that didn't remember any of your important numbers and doesn't have a clue of how to play Candy Crush. Seems like it wasn't that long ago that I remember one of these phones hanging in our kitchen. I almost, uh, I can kind of remember hating people that had nines and zeros in their phone number. It took a long time to dial and you'd actually forget the number about halfway through. In less than 20 years, we went from that to your cell phone. And while technology moves fast in some things, in others, it moves much slower. Agriculture as a whole moves pretty slow. I think that's pretty much because you can't reinvent the wheel. The basic idea is the same that it's been for years, no matter what aspect of agriculture you may look at. There have been industry innovations from the cotton gin to the first cast iron plows to rubber tires and the combine. On the livestock side of things, we've seen many advances. We've seen the pregnancy rate in cattle climb from 72% just 50 years ago to over 90% now. Weaning weights have also climbed in the same time frame from 425 pounds to 550 pounds. Those advances are mostly due to the understanding of nutritional requirements of cows. And thanks to technological advances, we're able to better understand cattle and what they need. Artificial insemination is another technology that's reached many ranches, and the biggest, yet maybe most simple, is barbed wire, which shaped the American West. When it comes to how we work our cattle, we've seen many changes over the years. Those same ranchers that talked on this very rotary phone without texting capabilities, some of them used to turn cattle loose for months on end, left them on their own for calving, summer feeding, and then they'd come back and pick them up in the fall, leaving your entire operation in the hands of mother nature. That was the way that it was done. Those were the days of cattle drives and cowboys sleeping under the, under the stars on the prairie. And while some wish we still lived in that world, we don't. Raising cattle, farming, and ranching has become a hands-on industry. Gone are the days of cattle barons who only look for checks and hired cowboys to push their cattle to market. Now we know most cows by number, if not name, and we can tell you almost everything about them since the day they were born. It makes sense that the care and caretaking of our animals extends all the way through their lives. And like most of us, occasionally cattle need a checkup or medical procedures. That's where cattle handling facilities come into play and any cattleman should have a plan for how to treat or contain one animal or many. A cattle handling facility is just a fancy name for a corral. And you're gonna to see tons of different designs, manufacturers, and layouts. For the past few years, our corrals were what you see here. A set of wooden pens, all leading to a head chute, where cows could be contained for any type of work that we had to do. If we were working with calves, then they moved towards a calf table, where we can hold them while we brand or vaccinate or castrate. Because of the good fortune that we've gained through our Wyoming life, we have the opportunity to be on a forefront of many new technologies to agriculture and ranching, from automatic chicken doors to tires that run with no air and are impossible to get a flat on. But one of our best partners in agriculture has been AeroQuip. They are a manufacturer of cattle handling equipment, and when it comes to evolving, I believe they may be in the front of the pack. Of course, 
if you know anything about me, I have a very low tolerance for BS, and I believe that they are doing, they're, they're all about doing what's best for the industry. But not only that, they, like me, care more about cattle and the people who are working them than profits or the bottom line. So behind me here is a brand new corral system, one that we're gonna be installing here on the ranch. It's a new design that many have not seen before. I'm gonna share that with you today. In it, we use animal behavior to further implement low stress cattle handling techniques. It's a modular system, so it can be changed to suit your needs. Let's say you need a scale. Well, you should be able to put one in with little effort, or at least we hope. You see, I'm not bought and paid for. I like AeroQuip equipment. I've used it in the past to preg check cows, and they have us testing this new corral system. But that really isn't a guarantee of anything in my book. I don't like doing product reviews. In order to do a review, somebody has to send you something, and that always costs them money. And of course, they're hoping that you say this is the next best thing since sliced bread. You always have this thing kind of in the back of your mind saying, hey, they let me use the product. I don't want to let them down. But that's why I would rather buy a tool or a product and test it myself for you. And that kind of cuts down on the chance for, for bias. And when we started talking to AeroQuip about testing this corral system, those concerns came to mind. That's why they aren't paying us. We get to use the system, obviously, but they made it very clear to us and we made it clear to them that hopefully they want to know the good and the bad. We don't believe in having sponsors. We strive for partners and ones that not only take our observations, but also yours and your advice. So as we move forward with this next generation in cattle handling equipment, it's my honor to show you the new corral system that we'll be implementing on the ranch. This is like nothing we've ever used before. With a loading chute that can change heights to alleys to a new squeeze chute that can handle any animal from a calf to a full-grown bull. Our corrals will feature an internal hub where we can move cows, calves, and bulls and then move them where they need to be. As always, our goal on the ranch is to work our cattle easily, safely, and as efficiently as possible. And I guess the true sign of an efficient corral is one where the cattle work with you and not against you. So that's what we have in store for us over the next week or so. But before we can have the cattle working with us, well, we have to work against ourselves. I built this entire corral system a few years ago and now we're gonna take it out, disassemble it, and move it to three separate locations. One place we'll be, a re we'll be recycling a number of the boards is to rebuild a section of fence behind the corrals. Another will be where we load bulls out. We'll be rebuilding their entire loadout corrals in the system so that uh, when they go to work, it's safer for all those involved as they can get just a little bit excited. The bulk of this corral, sy corral system, however, will be moved more than four miles away from the main ranch to an area where we can use it along with the AeroQuip portable tub and squeeze chute to doctor or load out cows for transport near summer pasture. This will alleviate us having to walk an injured animal all the way home, a distance of up to six miles. Waste not, want not is what they say. And I think that by, by recycling these corrals, we'll not only be saving ranch resources, we'll also be making the ranch better and more dedicated to the safety of our animals and those that work with them. So we do have a big job ahead of us. I have been spending almost every extra minute that I have tearing out the old corrals. And if a neighbor stops by, I throw him an impact driver and say, hey, take out screws while we talk. I'm excited to bring the AeroQuip into the corrals, real life, every day working on a Wyoming ranch. I'm excited to show you the innovations, the safety features, and the ease of use. And hopefully you can take some of the ideas home if you need to. If you don't, then you can rest assured knowing that no matter what the industry is, there's always room for continuous improvement. I gotta take this but please subscribe and follow along. And my hope is that by Friday, we'll be installing the new AeroQuip corrals and begin to see exactly how they'll work for us and the cows.
Come along, explore the ranch life, escape the ordinary, right here on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. Until I see you again, have a great week, and thanks for joining us in our Wyoming life. Yellow. Yeah, yeah, you can come help. That'd be great. All right, see you in a few minutes. Thanks, Gary. Bye. All right.